Hey guys, as you can hear, um, I just got my first shipment of broilers in. This is from the Chick Hatchery. Um, they are the cheapest place I found. I think I got these for like $1.40 a piece uh, with only a purchase of 25. So definitely probably somebody I'm gonna order from again. The only problem is, is they came out of Minnesota and they took an extra day. They're supposed to be here in two days. Took an extra day to get here. Um, and I just got them today. Uh, as you can see, they're uh, active and lively. Um, and right now, I'm going to um, open them up for the first time with everybody here. I want to show you also my brooder. What I did here was take a, let's see, a Gaylord box and I cut it down. And then I put uh, two dollar pans from the dollar store with uh, some hardware wire over around some one by ones or two by twos or something. And then the top half that I um, cut off, I put a tarp in the bottom and then put the, the sides back in to hold the tarp up. That way when it's time for cleanup, I just pick the tarp up and it'll be simple. Now I couldn't see all that, so I hope you could. So let's get this started. My box is kind of damaged. Looks like it was squished quite a bit. I don't see any dead ones. I do not. Here's number one. Oh, dip this. Look into that. Six, seven. Five. 
So there they are, 25 Cornish crosses from the Chick Hatchery, and they all look pretty lively. So far, so good. There we go. We already got one going to town on food. And several running around. And one really noisy one. So right now we're in my dungeon. I wouldn't call it a basement. I would call it more like a dungeon. Um, and see if I can get a better setup. So that's about a four and a half by two and a half. Uh, instead of making it squared, I pushed it together and I held it in place with these pieces of plywood and two by four so it wouldn't spring back out into its square position. Um, and again, it's only about two foot tall and the remaining foot and a half, like I said, I cut off and I used it on the inside and it seems to look like it's gonna work perfect. Maybe if we can get a view from this side, you guys can see all the chicks just a little bit better. There we go. And so right now the temperature is only 98.2 because I have a lid for it. Um, and that's over in this area, but they can get directly under the light and it'll be closer to the 100 degree mark. You can see there's still a bunch of cold ones down there. Four or five of them huddled together. Once they warm up a little bit, they'll be fine. Uh, we've got some that are going to town on the, the water. Now what I did is... Uh, I just mixed regular water with a very little bit of probiotics um, or no electrolytes yeah I got some of this from tractor supply some you probably can't see that very well there we go maybe zoom in on that electrolytes um, and then organic apple cider vinegar with the mother so and I mix that in with a gallon of water and I put the water in the, the jars two days ago and set it under the heat so it wouldn't be so cold this little guy's noisy anyway So there we have it, 25 chicks. They all seem pretty healthy. Now I'm gonna try to do a weekly update on my Cornish Cross and see their growth rate. Because I'm hoping uh, that this brooder is big enough for 25 chickens for a time period. If not, I have another Gaylord box. <clears throat> and if I need to, I'll just separate them. Um, so there we have it. Stay tuned. If you like what you see, subscribe. Um, and I have this feeling that um, I'm going to become a crazy chicken person. So... Can follow along with my troubles and trials. Enjoy.